the website I'm going to talk about is called koka.de like q u o k a dot e and uh, it's a pretty simple website uh, if you know a little bit of German then it's of course straightforward otherwise I just explain you so what you can do is that here you can put your city name or the postcode yeah so for example you can write Frankfurt yeah? so it gives also different regions let's say Frankfurt then you can also define uh, around Frankfurt how much kilometer radius it should search um, let's say 10 kilometers and then here you can write whatever you want to look for for example you can say I want to buy a car yeah it gives several suggestions and we say car in German normally car is called auto so you have to look for both cases yeah and here it says that in which category you would like to search all alle rubrican means uh, in all the categories otherwise you can also specialize your search yeah anyhow so i think this is normal search uh, criteria uh, that uh, most of the websites ask you or you can give it and you can say then finland look for it what you get then is that there are about 5454 uh, Card found. What you can do is that you can arrange the list with respect to the newest first or the price increasing, price decreasing kind of stuff, and which one is nearest and which one is the farthest if you choose this end uh, For web pages, I always recommend to have this google translator plugin in chrome it's possible and what it does is that if you click on it it will ask you you can also automate it that you want to translate this page and then it will translate everything on this page as good as it can but never trust it and uh, so you can see the data sets first price increasing uh, decreasing to low to high high to low or by distance anyhow I go back to original anyway so and then you can see that there are several cards given here or things uh, related to the cards uh, accessories yeah, their price and different things so this is pretty self-explanatory yeah what is also interesting is this side so you can modify your search you see ah uh, it's 5000 um, hits so I would like to, uh, to to not look at 5000 but okay let's not go outside uh, Frankfurt let's see him or in the city so so that you are not just lost in so many of uh, the hits anyway what you can also do is that you only look not in all categories but only in automark then again in automark you can only look for cars or the things that are used in cars so you can narrow down your search for example it's also giving hits right now for the toys yeah? so if you are not interested in car toys and stuff like this so you can choose one of the categories and it will narrow down your hits to this number yeah okay what is here is also that you can choose uh, the price yeah you want to look for cars which are between 500 and let's say 2000 yeah and then it will only show you the car between this price range yeah then for the cars it's saying that uh, 
whether the advertisement is from a private person or from a, uh, from a person who does it on a commercial basis yeah and uh, engebot type means that uh, uh, there are some people or you can also on this web page uh, put your own ad that you are looking for a car so it's called so the people who are looking for so if you want to sell a car and you can choose this category and see if anybody is already looking for your car or anything so I will I will go that uh, uh, what other categories this uh, website has anyhow or if you want to buy a car you can look for if somebody has put an ad so there are 12 people looking for a car and there are 631 people based on your search criteria selling their car okay then of course you can narrow down in terms of the the area and then here you can also based on this criteria create a uh, an alert so if anybody with this search criteria will post a new ad it will send them email. so you can click here to set up an email yeah? It's pretty easy. I don't. I will not go in detail here. What you can also do on this website is sell your own stuff, and this is called. Um, this is here cost and load. That means free uh, insertion of your ad. Yeah, you can click here, and then what comes is that. Uh, so you can also make your account. I recommend to make it because then it's much more easier. And so here you can write, I want to sell a sofa, for example. Yeah? So then it will ask you which category you think, for example, this category matches the best. I right? click here. Yeah. Then you can upload some pictures of your sofa. I am not going to do so, but anyway, you can select any picture and uh, that's it. And from your um, hard drive and you can put up to eight pictures yeah um, if you are a private person choose this if you are a commercial seller of the thing choose this mostly it's uh, private so yeah or if you are looking for a sofa you can also choose this and say that I am looking for blah blah sofa yeah so I'm hang about for the I'm you do yeah here you enter your text, uh, what kind of sofa it is, how old it is, and if you can deliver the sofa to certain area or the person has to pick it up himself and so on. Okay, the next thing is uh, the price. Here it's written for handling buses, that means uh, and if I put here for example 50 euros, and it means that uh, a person can come up to me and say, ah, I pay 40 euros and I can discuss the price. There's another category called uh, fast price. Fast price means fixed price and I want to already tell my viewers that, oh, I sell it for 50 euros. Similarly, if you are reading a, an ad, I will open an ad and see, uh, uh, you, will, you will see there also that if the price is fixed or not. Then there is Prahandung Sache. Prahandung Sache means that uh, probably you want to give away your sofa and in return you want to get uh, um, a table or um, so you want to trade a thing with a thing. Yeah? So you can choose this also. Mostly, for example, if you have a mobile phone and you want to get a, another kind of mobile phone, you can say Prahandung Sache and you just write your wish some people do like this also that uh, you trade uh, uh, with some consumable like certain packs of mills for example and stuff like this yeah then here you put your city let's say Frankfurt yeah and your email address email address again and telephone is optional you can give a telephone number if you like Okay, then it says that your ad should be online for 7 days, 14 days, 28 days, you can choose. Yeah. Uh, after the ad uh, time period, you will have to actually renew the ad if you want to 
keep it free of cost. Yeah? So you have to come again and say and ask it for uh, uh, extend the time for my app. Yeah? Then uh, Coco also offers different promotions, different things that you can do, uh, that you can choose, and but you have to pay for it. And these include that, uh, for example, I can just translate it uh, in English. Uh, so you can see that. I think I don't need to explain it. It's pretty self explanatory. Normally, I don't do it uh, because uh, uh, I am not a commercial seller. I, if I sell anything, I, I normally do it uh, as a private seller and because I'm not running a business any, anyway. So these things are probably good for those who are doing it on a regular uh, basis. Okay, then let me switch off the translate. I'm just not happy with the translation. Sometimes it uh, translates um, uh, pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, you can't understand what exactly it is. Yeah. Then, if you want to subscribe for um, for uh, a newsletter or whatever, you can take here. Uh, and then you can say Zur for show that show me before posting how my ad looks like or you can click here and it will then hmm, after some time post your ad online and send you an email as well that your ad is online. This is how you put an ad to sell your thing. Huh? So let's go back and have a short look what kind of things you can buy or sell on this website and I would say almost any kind of thing that you can think of so there's a category for automobiles there's a category for house land anything related to uh, buying and selling renting to the apartment or houses and so on that there, there is a whole category for pets yeah then comes house and family. Uh, you you can already read here certain some categories: electronics, hobby, design, businesses. So if you are, for example, uh, a technical person, you know how to repair um, a computer or how to repair uh, or you or you paint houses or whatever. Yeah. So you can put there that I am a freelancer. Sport and wellness. Okay, um, you can read it yourself. Uh, then, okay, this is the thing which is very interesting. I will explain it in detail. Then you can put open news. It seems like this, and uh, if it is not there, you can. So, in principle, whatever you need, you can try finding it on this website or whatever you want to sell, you can sell it. Yeah? So, let's talk about Drupal Jenkins. This is very, very, very interesting uh, uh, and uh, I will also talk about it in detail um, uh, with regards to other possibilities. So. Many websites have this section Drupal Schenken. This means uh, to give it as a gift. Many people are giving away things as a gift. So I just clicked on it. So you can ask the website, okay, who is giving what for free? So you can see here that uh, it's for group Frankfurt and then you can click here to for Schenken for everything that are free so for example this guy is selling away not selling away actually giving away his couch with this uh, I think it's a table or whatever um, for free at this address Similarly, yeah, 
different things which are being okay dot get affected to it. this is an ad from billigar.de and so this guy is giving away shoes so you can actually principally get many things many things for free and all probably what you need to do is to pick them up yourself from the, for example i open this ad so you see here it's super thinking so when you are giving the ad you can also choose if you want to give away something sometimes people are just moving out and they don't want to carry things so they give away for free and and 90% of the cases the things are complete and pretty usable it's not like this that uh, it's uh, a garbage that is being put on this website so normally if it's a garbage people throw it away uh, and the only things that you see in Drupal Thinker are actually usable and sometimes even new pack things you can also find so here you can see this guy you know, or a lady I don't know uh, is living at this place yeah the ad came on this date there are about 37 not about exactly 37 people who looked at this ad and here are the details yeah you can ask also here any question but I will not recommend to use this field to ask the question because most of the time and uh, it is just lying here and the seller or the person who is giving away the thing does not get to know if the question is asked this is something a bit annoying about uh, the website but what you should do is you should choose Nakhrik Senden Nakhrik Senden here actually you send an email to the person asking the question yeah? so this for, for sure he gets in his mailbox and he can reply Okay, I will press and escape to get rid of the screen and here of course his phone number is uh, not displayed. It's pretty nice, pretty good. Many things I sold on it, many things I bought from it and it's everything free of cost. So putting an ad and contacting a person and getting being contacted, you pay nothing to the website. You only pay the person. and the best part is you can get free stuff i hope you like it i will continue uh, with other websites uh, in my next videos till then see you